What's going on guys? This is Exhausted uh, and this is going to be a how-to video on how to install the Topro Topro Elite, that's right, Topro Elite by Red Arc. Uh, if you haven't heard the brand, uh, it's in the description down below. Um, but if you have and you found this video trying to find it or trying to trying to install it onto your 2020 or really any WK2 platform I think it was 14 and up I think it was uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee or Dodge Durango something like that this is how you do it um, I'm gonna be honest with you haven't done it before I haven't even opened the box yet uh, as you can see we're about to open the box um, but let's open the box and find out what we got here all right I got you set up on tripod sorry for the abrupt uh, thing I was just gonna open it off camera, but I realized that I'm holding the tripod. So, all right. So here we go. Uh, I've already made the first cut. Uh, let's see. I don't know how to open things. Plus, it doesn't help that I'm using my dull knife. It work. All right. Oh, packaging nuts. Lovely. If anybody wants to send me a knife, let me know. I love, I love that companies care about their product enough to want to ship it and not affect it. But this is, I absolutely hate packing peanuts. I understand it's a cheap method, but this sucks. Hopefully you can see everything on camera because I'm not behind it. All right, so I got our harness. Is there anything else in this godforsaken box? Okay. Get out of here. Okay. So, hopefully you can see it. This is the... I actually emailed the company. Sorry, that was the tripod closing. I actually emailed the company and they told me that, yes, I do need the TPH004 um harness for it they said there is it's basically plug and play once once you have this oh yeah it even says right there for the durango grand cherokee and pacifica steven then took his nuts man i gotta have some milk <laughs> <laughs> uh here is the topro elite um uh, if you want to read all that you can just pause it Pause it right there and read it. I'm not going to explain it all to you. Uh, let's see. Set you back up. All right. Set you back up on the tripod here. And we'll open up. Let's see. Yep. So that's it. That's what comes in the box. Just the controller. Now, apparently you can mount this anywhere because it has an accelerometer in it and gets calibrated so that's that and here is is just the button wow that's really not that deep maybe yeah an inch below yeah just an inch well plus the plug I'm assuming all your cables are in here all right wow Put everything in there okay so okay so there's that don't lose that sitting on top of that oh it actually came with one i thought you had to buy one extra hmm. that's cool here's your switch and this is if you're going to be tying it in in the un unapproved they don't have a pre-made harness for you right because yes that is the same exact plug as that okay all right so i'm gonna do a little bit of research in the vehicle before we get to installing all of these goodies and i'll show you what i do as we go along but i'm already taking up way too much time doing this okay 
Catch you in a minute. Okay, so we're in the driver's panel. Driver's cockpit. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but... Excuse me. There is a panel underneath where your pedals are. Um, and what I found is... It's kind of hard to see, but maybe you can. These little... There's these little plastic... Uh, what are they called? They're like... They're like temporary rivets basically i can't remember what they're called for to save my life right now but they're like body clips i think that's what they're called but they're like little christmas tree body clips and they just pull right out i'm actually using some of some plastic pry tools so you're gonna need plastic pry tools and i just put it underneath there and pulled it out that's all you're gonna have to do and i'll catch up with you in just a second I'm okay so i got that off uh after it just pulls out and then it's kind of hard to see there's a clip right there for the led i think it's led eh, oh well there's a clip right there for the footwell light there's two of them there's there's another dome light right there but or light it's kind of hard to see i'll show you i'll show you that in a minute but just sure. normal just normal clip now let me set the tripod up right there hopefully you can see me because i can't see the back of the gopro but um is there a safety latch on it no no okay, so I just there it goes okay so just take that throw that out of the way and this is yeah okay so there should be a gray plug up underneath there um I'll show you a first look before I get my head in there. I don't know if there is. Can you tell me if there's one? I guess I'll find out in a minute. Don't worry. Don't worry about typing that. I'll find it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have found the gray connector in question. It is actually right here by the parking brake. Right there. No, yeah, emergency brake, parking brake, whatever. It's right here. If you slide this cable harness out of the way and look up hang on mood light yeah right up right on top of it it's right there i don't know if i need to slide it out of its connector so i can slide my connector on it or will my connector push right in i don't have to move it at all let's find out okay so yeah um it's been about 20 minutes since the last little clip but i think i'm looking at it yeah okay so i got it in there and actually hold on it got to the point where i'm literally sitting like this i'm a little sweaty right now too it's a little humid in the north carolina shop there is ac but there's no ac on right now um but yeah okay so it's a little bit of a pain to get in there because I got big hands and this is not a big hand friendly haul. So, um, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> eh, input Michael from the office clip here. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's in, it's in. Uh, so now the only thing left to do is find a place to mount the trailer brake controller i haven't found a place to do that yet and run the cable for the um the switch wow wow i could not think of that for a second okay um get right back with you in a few okay so uh i know this video is choppy i'm sorry about that i i don't do I don't do normal how-to video installs. Uh, if you already clicked off by now, uh, you wouldn't be watching this anyway. But if you have stayed on this long, thank you. Thank you for everything. Uh, okay, so a little bit of a rant. Um, Topo Elite. I was just about... I got the harness installed. Well, I busted my knuckle here a little bit. Got the harness installed. Got... Over here and looking at the Topo, Topo Elite, wow. And I realized that 
I spent two hundred dollars on this whole setup. Uh, it was like two, was like two thirty or something like that with the harness. So, um, but they didn't even include just a little screw or a bolt to mount this. Um, no, no hardware. So, um, don't be like me. Be prepared. Uh, you're going to need little self-tapping screws or a through bolt or something like that. They're tiny. They're just tiny. So, and it's not heavy. It's, it's maybe a few ounces. So, probably a pound. Uh, anyway, so you don't need anything massive to install it. Just don't be like me. Get hardware. I got to go find some hardware now in a shop that's not mine. So, um, if you see that mess over there steven you really need to clean up um yeah i'm gonna go find some screws okay so i don't really know exactly where i left off i think i left off with uh i was going to oh wait your camo lens is dirty don't look at my ugly face with a smudge okay so uh oh yeah mounting hardware that's where i left off okay so Still didn't find any mounting hardware. I really didn't look actually. Uh, I went straight into I went straight into trying to find a good location to mount and drill the hole for the button. Um, so all right, let's dive into it. So what we got here is all right. So the plug that's up here. You saw that. What I did with the cable is I went over the existing harness. Uh, let me grab the light so you can see. All right, so I went over existing harness. You can see the wire loom right there. I went straight back behind the carpet, behind the carpet, up into this uh, little footwell cavity over to the left. Um, and it's it's not that hard to take out. It's really not. They just um, there's one little push clip back here. You just put your hand back here, pull it out, pulls out. And then you just kind of have to, kind of have to once you push it out, just kind of like push it back into the floor. It has some give, and then the tabs up front will slide out of their little channel, and then you can just pull it right out. But before you do that, you need to take out this little door sill, door sill piece of trim right there, and that just pulls out. If you've never done that before, oh yeah, excuse the dog hair, it's dirty. I really need to wash this thing and clean it out. But I just haven't had time yet. Um, let's see. Okay, so I got that. And I'm thinking... I don't know what this plug is here. I found that out a minute ago. Um, it looks almost identical to the plug that you need to plug into. But upon further investigation, it doesn't have enough pins. And it's also way too big. So that is definitely not the plug we need to get into. It is the one up there that plugs in. Nice and nice and tight like. Okay, so I found that right here is going to be perfect to mount this. It's going to be behind that piece of plastic. It's going to be behind that piece of plastic and you're not, it's not going to be in the way. Biggest thing is cable routing. I think I'm going to have enough cable to get to where I want to mount the button if not i'm gonna have to do something up here i don't want to do that my mounting location i think i want the button is going to be right there i think right there i'll uh i just pulled that out okay so up here uh, i just looked up a youtube video i'll link that down into the in the description but basically excuse the mess this is a daily driver <laughs> but all you do is just pull up Right here, right here, and right here, and it pops up. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And then I just push this piece of leather, just, just, uh, just pulled it up out of the way. Slid this over. I've got my hand back there, and there's plenty of room. And then I popped, I popped this off because it just pops out. You can see the clips right there. It just pops out. So I got enough room to run my cable up through here over here and i'm gonna zip tie everything up along here all the way through here 
and hopefully plug into my little plug button controller right there okay I have a problem with information my brain just like get it out and I'm sorry sorry it comes out all jumbled up but I'm working through it so calm down I gotta calm down not you sorry uh, I know this video is dragging on to be a little bit longer so um yeah I'm sorry about that uh but it's a how-to video so just skip through the part you like So yeah, mounting hardware. Remember that? Um, a few minutes ago, probably five or so. Anyway, uh, mounting hardware. I didn't... Where I'm going to be mounting this, I don't feel it's going to be necessary to um, drill into the metal or anything of the body. Uh, so I actually found some, or actually Stephen found, some double-sided 3M tape. So I'm going to use that. I've used this before, it mounts, it sticks, it's, and it ain't going anywhere, so if it falls, it's going to be in that plastic, um, like kick panel, so I'm not, not worried about it at all, uh, so I'm going to mount this up, and then I'll show you the finished product, and then we'll move straight on into drilling up my expensive dash, um, everything is okay until you drill, because then you can't go back. So, here we go. Okay, so I think I left off with installing that down, down here. Light. Okay, so it's installed. Um, it's kind of, it's back there. Everything's good. Everything's out of the way. Nothing, well right now that's in the way, but... Everything's back where it needs to be. This was a little bit of a pain in the ass to get back in. It's not that bad, but um, I highly, highly recommend getting some plastic uh, trim piece removers. You would definitely need it. Okay, so moving on from that. Um, start now. Okay, so I have decided uh, after mounting that, I found it. Here's the cable. I ran that over here, but for the uh, for the switch. Um, but I'm gonna drill it right here. That's where I'm gonna put my button. I think it's gonna look good. I think it's not gonna. It's nothing. I made sure there's plenty of room underneath. Um, let's come over here. Here's all your parts and pieces. Uh, I took I took the little switch out of the. Uh, cover just to make sure just in case if I drop this I still can use this even though it really needs to have a plastic cover. Oh wow. I wasn't even looking through the camera. Okay, so um, But now looks like all I need to do is drill a hole big enough for the diameter of Just that little clip there because I'm not I'm not mounting that that is just It's too big. So let me find a drill bit and I'll catch up with you in a moment when I drill. Drill the hole in a $200 piece of plastic. No going back. All right, so it has been determined that there is no good camera angle to do this. So I'm um, just going to have to hold the drill and film in the other hand so hopefully you can see this because i'm not looking at this camera no going back no pilot hole either just that's it <laughs> 200 dollar piece of plastic ruined absolutely ruined and Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, not really, but I might have to go up a bigger size, but it will fit, hopefully. If not, we'll, we'll make it work. All right, I'm um try to fit everything up, and I'll show you the finished product. All right. So, um, 
a lot's happened since the last uh, little clip. I'm not even going to lie, try to lie or anything, but it is now installed. Actually looks phenomenal. I am so, so happy with it. Um, I about showed you how I routed it. I got it mounted in here. Wow, it's dark. Okay. <laughs> I got it mounted in here. You saw that. I got the cable ran up there. I got everything put back together. It's just ran right across up here, down through in there, through there, up here, up to here. Uh, just drill a hole and put it in. It's really not that hard. Um, <clears throat> and then there is a learning... But the light was great right then. Um, there is a relearning. Uh, the trailer brick has to go through. Actually, I was just reading it. It says uh, it has to go through an active calibration test. That's it. Okay. So, and it gives you, they give you like this little hanger thing to hang on it that you need. Anyway, besides that, Tools. We're going to go over tools of everything that you need in this video. Uh, or to do this install. So, drill. 100% going to need that. Um, 12 mil. I'm using a little quarter inch ratchet socket combination. Uh, you could definitely use a, a combination combination wrench. A box in or open in. Either or works just fine. Um, you don't really need these, but I highly recommend it because it's gonna it's gonna be saving your hands tremendously. But all right, so the drill, the bit, the bit is hard to see back there, but it's eleven. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thirty-one sixty-fourths. Wow. That's. Wow, I'm, I'm blind. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, that's 11. I'm sorry. 31 64ths. I'm throwing it up on the screen right now. <laughs> okay. So, I used a little... I used a pot hole. I think I used 25 64ths as a pot hole. I don't recommend going that big because uh, you definitely can miss it. But, I've done... I used to be a firefighter. Not anymore. I just had no time to get hours and stuff i'm so busy uh this is kind of taking place of it but i used to i had a dutch coda and ram and all that stuff and other trucks and stuff and i used to out to fit them with lights so this was kind of a piece of cake for me actually i didn't have to do any kind of wiring i brought this stuff around here to the back i brought all kinds of stuff this is a old one i used to use i got different stuff now zip ties tire ups didn't have to use any of it uh socket set that's my socket set i'll put that in the description you didn't need that uh, i had some fasteners here that you can't really see and other other miscellaneous stuff didn't even need it didn't, didn't need any of it so um this was actually a great install Excuse me, as long as it works, um, I have not tested it out yet, so I'm going to go stop talking and go drive this thing to get it out of calibration. I have no idea how long it's going to take to get out of calibration. It doesn't say. I've heard, I've, I saw on video it either said, what did that guy say? He said anywhere from 100 miles to 500 miles. Hope it's not 500 miles, but. It is. It's what I gotta do to get it out of calibration. So it says, I think it said anywhere from like 10 to 20 stops or so. So I don't know. Oh, here it is. Uh, under normal driving conditions, the Toe Pro Elite will learn its mounting orientation within 20 brake applications. 20 brake applications. So if that is correct, uh, I definitely won't get 20 on the way home. So I'm just gonna go stop for no reason <laughs> but yeah uh if you're gonna end up putting your button there i recommend finding somebody with some skinny hands i got big meat claws i wear uh, anywhere from a large to extra size extra large size gloves there we go um they are pretty big they don't look that big but they're pretty big um I got Steven to actually put that in there because 
his hands are his hands are actually pretty big, but they're long. He's got long, skinny hands, so it worked out pretty well. Um, I think I've rambled on enough in this video. Um, this is exhaust. This is how to do that. Um, we I suck at this. I suck. At, I don't even know why I'm trying. This is a five minute clip. Wow, uh, this is going to be a forty five minute video. I'm so sorry if it's forty five minutes. And thank you uh, for sticking around this long. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this. Share this with anybody that you need that needs to know this. Um, man, I'm so happy if you're still here. I just need to. I must. Tell me why do I still feel so alone?